And I thought, this is too good. I have never seen a pre and post x-ray in my life in chiropractic. Now I can do them with wheel. And a lot of people say, that isn't the way it should be. That everybody has a normal. Well, I'll tell you, if that's normal for him, I'm glad I don't have it. And if that was what was normal for Ken, I'm glad I don't have it. Okay. There is a normal. If you don't believe that, then go to Gray's Anatomy. And you look in the books, and here's the pictures that I got out of Gray's Anatomy. And this isn't says anything about Bern Pierce saying about the curves or Royal Pentagon. It shows curves. And it shows straight spines. And if you go to Trapanzi, you'll see the same thing. There is definitely a norm. We are the only profession in the world that says we know what we did. Nobody else does, but we know. Now I want to put you in a scenario. Your car was wrecked and you just took it to a garage. And somebody says, I can fix your car. So they get a sledgehammer. And they hit it three times a week. Knock out the windshield and the tail lights. And then they spray paint it. And they bring it back to you. And they say, Doctor, here's your car. Here's your car, doctor. And you said, well, I can't see the changes. Well, they're there. But they're so minute, you just can't see them. <laughs> but I know they're there, and your car will run, and that's fine. How many of you would go to a dentist and drill all 32 teeth just to make sure he got the right one? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a real joke when we talk about somebody else. <clears throat> we are the biggest jokes in the world. Why do you think that we're only taking care of 4% of the people of the world if we are so fantastic? And when you really analyze those 4%, do you realize that over 80% of the people who go to chiropractors would never go back again if you paid their way? Now, these things are all proven facts. See, they're not something that I set up here and dream about. These are facts, people. These are definitely facts. So when we started changing spines, I was teaching fifth cervical work because I assumed that when I went somewhere that they learned other techniques. If you're selling ties, you don't carry a lot of suits with you. So if you think that people know how to adjust atlas and axes, you don't talk about it. You talk about something new, you bet. But I got the rap. Of all pyramids died and they got the dead carry from the dead. People would come in my office and see me do 180 patients that might see five if cervical and done. Oh, we thought. I said, that's the trouble with you. You're the guy who thought he was in the bathroom where he was really in bed. He wondered why well, he got some brown stuff around his sheets. <laughs> <laughs> we thought. We think. We know. No one knows what's in my mind except me. So we're going to show you some pre and post x-rays. If you think that spines can't be changed, then I feel sorry for you. Then you should go to National College. Because the president of National College wrote a statement that he said he never saw proof that a chiropractor could change the spine. Now, people, I want to tell you something. If we can't change spines, then you're going to school to be a fraud. You're going to school to be a cheat. You're going to school to be something other than what you're supposed to be. A chiropractor should be able to answer three questions. Yes, I can find your problem. Yes, I can do something about it. And yes, I will guarantee you that I will show you the proof that I did. Now, how many of you would sit on an airplane with a man that would say, I just graduated from aviation school. Now I'm sitting here behind this wheel, this 747. Now I've never really flown it. But I know all about it. Now if you just all sit back and relax, I'll see if I can get it off the ground. <laughs> but see, I believe that every one of you should be able to prove to the world why you do something. I did this because 
Not that I know something's going to happen. You just can't live that way, people. Where's Rob at? Rob Christman. You want to come up here and put some slides on for me, Rob? Now here is a boy that I'll take him practice with me in a minute. Here's a boy that understands chiropractic. personally helped with chiropractic. That's not bad for a kid just getting started. And we're going to show you a few signs. Um, and we're going pretty good time here. Everything's going good. We'll show you a set of slides. I'll go through them fast. I want you to keep this in mind. I do look for pathology. <coughs> I do know that there is congenital and acquired abnormalities, and I teach that. But I also know that there is a normal and an abnormal. And provided you do not have congenital abnormalities, you should be able to change the spot. You should know when to adjust somebody, and you should know when to keep your hands off of them. And if you want to get sick people well, a stood just play in the 65% game. See, there's three groups of symptoms in this world, people, and here's how they go. And everyone in the world falls into them. 65, 30, and 5. We don't have to worry about this 5, because that's a 5 that eventually kills everybody. Whatever it might be, we all have to die. We know that. The 65% symptoms is where most doctors spend all their time the medical doctors, and the chiropractors. This is taking care of symptoms that have a two months duration. They either go away or they go into another type of symptom and the chiropractor or the MD takes credit for that. That's not what you want to work. You want to work in the 30% symptom. If you get a person in the 65% symptom, like I did, Larry Arnold, and if I would have corrected his spine, he would have never went into the 30% symptoms. The 30% symptoms are the symptoms that says your tombstone should read, die at 30, buried at 60. That's what happened to Larry Arnold. He went into the 30% symptoms because I didn't know how to stop. Today, he would have never went into those 30% because we'd have stopped him before he got there. If I had 20 years to do it, I certainly should have been able to. 30% symptoms are symptoms where people really need a doctor that understands what it's all about. That's where I work all the time, in that 30% symptoms. Anyone can work in the 65% symptoms. I worked there for 23 years, that was enough. You can make a lot of money. Oh, and you have a lot of people saying you're great. But about six months later, they'll be in somebody else's office saying they're great. Because all you did was temporary relieve a condition that would have went away by itself. Every chiropractor in the world has had miracles. Most of them have had them by accident. But you should never have to have a uh, miracle by accident. They should be by intent. <coughs> you should be able to create miracles every day. You're in the profession. That is the greatest single thing that was ever given to suffering mankind. The only thing that holds us back are the chiropractic toys inside. Want to show your neck? Um, I want to put it on there, but I can't get it up. But I'll be more happy to show y'all. This is this was me. If you can see that, you see that? Yeah. Yep. I, that's that was me when I walked into his office. Okay. Um, <clears throat> two years of hitting that ASLA. Okay. Now, when I walked into his office uh, the weekend before that Saturday, um, I started to experience a low back pain again. Because when I've got my first atlas adjustment, <clears throat> uh, when I came here, since we were teaching basically an HIO, I wanted to see if it worked. When I got my first atlas adjustment, I had neck, 